Welcome back to my channel everyone. So today I'm going to be taking off the roof rack, the roof bars, plugging the holes with some screws. Then I'm going to be ripping out the ply lining, the bulkhead and all of that. And basically just taking the van apart. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and let's get on with it. <laughs> They're literally on every rooftop just watching me. If anyone wants to buy a roof rack, let me know. So I just wrong TPS to get some roof bolts because obviously I've just taken this roof rack off. And how times have changed, right? This is so weird. He said, we're closed to public. When you get here, dip, dip, dip. beep twice and we'll come out with your parts. So I'll just beep three times to be annoying. In fact, let's do it one more time. <laughs> I forgot I've got wind down windows. <laughs> Thanks mate, cheers. Oh, well, at least he came out and gave them to me. Nice and easy. And I just paid over the phone, so I can't grumble. If you're wondering why my hands are wrinkly, I've been cleaning with wet gloves. Don't know where that went. Oh, lovely. Let's stick this in that hole. I thought I'd treat you to a nice little view. No. As you can see, the roof rack is off. Doesn't that make a big difference? Take a look at that now. It's looking like a proper van. Check the seagull balancing on one leg. Look. It's just slow raining. Typical. So I think the best plan of attack is to take all of the plywood out first and then we'll take the bulkhead out and go from there. Christ, that was easy. Yeah, this is the problem. <laughs> I think ripping out a van has got to be the best bit. <laughs> Putting it all back together, that's... The hard part. Another one. 
beautiful. Would you believe it? More wooden panels. Sound ending. on ply. It'll be like the never ending job this isn't it? Right so to remove these weird little popper clips that Volkswagen put on their panels it's going to use like an allen key bit. I'm going to just push it in there, drill and out it comes. A um, bit of a noise but it's actually not so bad. I don't think there's a nice way of doing this. Bang bang, we're nearly there. Just pulls them out nicely. And then that bit will just slot back in when I'm ready to use it later on. Lovely. Nice and easy. Just realised I've got to get the bloody roof lining out yet and all. These jobs never end. Lovely. Right, that can wait till I get the bulkhead out, which is next. So the bulkhead screws seem to be T30 size. Wait that in my impact driver and I'll be on my way, mate. Easy as that. There you come, son. I oh, know, might have to split this in half first. Shit, it's got seeds in there. The geezer's been having popcorn or something in this van. Are we anywhere close to that? No. Nothing the spanner can't do, eh? A bit of perseverance. Hey, here she comes. You've got to split it. God for that. The last screw off the bolt head. Alright. And that my friends is the bolt head out. That's that one. No, we just got the roof line in today. Would you believe all of this stuff is coming out of that little van? <laughs> no. <sighs> it's hard, like on your knees and stuff in these. So obviously, you can't stand up. Gets a bit tedious, I must say. How do I always end up in these situations? It happened in my uh, transport as well, funnily enough. The plus side, I've only got three plugs left. Probably going to rip all the wiring out for that light as well. One roof liner, straight out. Hope you like my dust pan and brush. I don't know what this bloke's been doing in here, but it is very muddy. Take that rear trim off as well. So I've just removed the rear plastic. Also I've taken off the whole rubber from around the van so I can just sweep everything straight out the back. Got the big boy broom in there now. Should make life a lot easier. Instead of this pissy little thing. What a bloody job mate this is. Satisfying though when you're doing it. There's more and more and more. Wow. 
Right, so that's the roof rack off, the roof bars off, I've plugged the roof. I've also taken all of the ply panels out, the roof lining out, uh, all the ply floor, all the panels, everything I've swept up, I've cleaned up. Now the only thing I want to do next is take this side step out and this other panel over here, but they're all connected to the B pillars and if I start taking all that out, I might as well uh, paint them a colour I want so I can leave that for another day. I think the next step will be to do some sort of sound deadening and insulation because obviously he's going to be getting carpet lined at some point with new panels and whatnot. But yeah, that should be it for today's episode. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all again soon. Bye for now. Well, I'm done.